Hi, hi. How are you today? Hi, teacher. How are you? Okay, well, it's time now. Let's see. We are six at the moment. Okay, Adriana Sofia, are you here? Adriana Sofia. Ana Alicia, Ana Grisel, David Alexander, teacher. Diego Batres, Edwin Mauricio, Present teacher. Elda Cristina, Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio, Grace Michel, Grace Grace, Yvonne Marcela, Jennifer Elizabeth, Jessica Lisette, Jose Alberto, Karen Janet, Carla Lorena, present teacher, Lisa Dayanara, Nubia Zulema, Rebeca Marcela, Rosa Hilda, present teacher, Víctor Manuel, Karen Stephanie, Adriana Marcela, present teacher, José Alfredo, no hear José Alfredo yet, okay, a ver, cuéntenme cómo está el mundo por allá afuera, que veo que bien poquitos hay. Teacher, voy a estar de oyente, Víctor Argueta. Ok, Víctor. Is it raining? Teacher. Hola. Yes, I'm... I'm here. Jennifer. Jennifer. Ok. Yes. Thank you. Ok, ok. Vamos a ver. Y Jennifer. Teacher, yo igual estaré quizás la primera media hora de oyente. Adriana. Adriana, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher, sí. <ríe> ya les reconozco la voz. Adriana. Ok, somebody else has arrived after I called. Mi teacher. Adriana Sofía. Hola, Adriana Sofía. Hi. Teacher. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Nubia. No. Carlita. 
Carlita ya le puso present, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Bueno, creo, pero le dije present. Sí, sí, usted sí me dijo present, sí. ¿Y qué saben de Karen? Sí. Karen Janet, tengo días de no verla. ¿Qué han sabido de ella? ¿Mm? Rebeca, hello. Vamos a ver, Rebeca Montella. Vaya. Tengo aquí a Adriana Sofía, David Alexander, Edwin Mauricio, Elda Cristina, Jennifer Elizabeth, Carla Lundina, Rebeca Marcela, Rosalinda, en Adriana Marcela. ¿Alguien más ha llegado? Vamos a ver. No, ¿verdad? Good evening, teacher. Eh, hey, José Alberto. Hello. Vamos a ver. Sí, es que hoy qué triste, yo iba llamando y así, un montón de espacios, nadie, 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 nadie. Pero sí, ya somos más. Okay. Somebody else arrive late? Who else, who else, no more. Okay, well. Hmm. Uh, today, uh, we are talking about... Uh, running on a, a running a focus group conversation, but we are also going to talk about uh, the conversation, right? How to organize a focus group. And later on, we will have a reading about product development. So you will tell me what is product development. You, we will read about it and we will discuss later. Okay. Vamos a ver. And check sharing. Mm -hmm. Remember that last class, me iba a decir yesterday, pero no. Last class, we were pending on a couple of presentations. Do you remember? We were listening to well, we were reading, right, about the 10 best practices to, in, to improve your concept and product test. And we were listening to the best practice number one and best practice number two. That, that we were missing best practices three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten because they are ten i would like to listen to the people who were to, who were reading about best practice three and best practice four are you here who were reading about best practice three and four who mm -hmm. best practice three and four Adriana, Karen, Stephanie y Lisette. Ajá, lo escribí. Vaya, así no se me escapan de que a saber quién era. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Adriana, Adriana Sofía y Adriana Marcela, ¿verdad? Karen, Stephanie and Lisette Dayanara were group number two, reading about best practice three and best practice four. Who will be my volunteer? I think I'm the only one available. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was saying goodbye to my child. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have been discussed about the practice number three, that the concept of our product or, or, uh, or service has to be uh, simple and too short to, to other people can understand easily. Mm -hmm. um, and 
if it, the concept can not be explained in a few words, we have to, to use, let me, let me look in for So you have to simplify it. Yes, and and you can uh, you can use um, a measures that can help you. First is the interest. Second, quantity of purchase interest, purchase quantity, the purchase frequency of, of the buying. <laughs> And the value for the money. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you can help you with these uh, measures to can explain your concept easily. The number four, we didn't understand it. That's the allocation. Is, yes, use cheap allocation. Mm -hmm. We understand the the factor of uh, to estimate source of volume and potential cannibalization. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I don't know, we had an idea about this, that you, you, had, you have to know where is your brand so you can estimate or calculate how much potential can can it cool it have in the market mm -hmm. so you can you can have a, a volume of of sales or you can be cannibalist cannibalist cannibalize uh -huh. <laughs> for another brand okay i think that is a the, the mm. idea. Okay, uh, here in this uh, in this one, we're talking about those products that when the companies launch them, they ask new products. If these products will become very popular and will eliminate a product that already exists, or like replacing right a product that is already in the market, or if it will be one product more that people will buy. Yes? So how will people feel about this new product? Will they, will they say, okay, I like to buy, I always buy my brands, but this is a good product, so I'm going to add this product to the ones that I already buy right? Or if they will replace a product that they used to buy for the new product. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, when we talk about cannibalization, because have you heard uh, that term se lo comió, right? Se comió el otro negocio, because the new one was so attractive, it had everything the, the people wanted, that the other product or brand disappears because this one replaces the previous one. Yeah, that's when we talk about cannibalization. Okay, now let's go for practice number five and six. E that is Yvonne, Jose, Alfredo, and Nubia. I don't know if anybody's here. Yvonne, Jose Alfredo, and Nubia. Anybody here? No. We will come back. Are oh, you here? I'm sorry. Al menos la primera hora voy a estar de oyente. Okay. Bueno, ni modo, Nubia. Ay, teacher. <laughs> number, number five and six. Mm 
that's what you were reading and discussing on Friday. Remember, before the end. In this moment, I remember teacher. <laughs> okay. Of course, all the weekend in the middle. <laughs> Go ahead. Es que no la había leído, teacher. ¿Cómo Hasta no? Ahorita. Si en clase la leyeron el viernes. De verdad. Sí. Y lo único que nos faltó fue pasar a, a, a decirlo porque se nos acabó el tiempo. Pero en clase lo estuvieron leyendo los últimos 20 minutos. Con su grupo, you were with Yvonne y with José Alfredo. Ah, sí, Yvonne. Best practice, number five, use norm to benchmark. New concepts, again, past concepts with no success rate. Mm -hmm. This case is one is, is when the these are com but compare the two products, products um, the concept, all the products with a new concept, the new products. Mm -hmm. They are talking about the norms, right? Those specific norms that are used for evaluating or for testing the products. For example, if you're testing a product for children, you have to be sure that it is safe. If you remember a cup, well, I guess it was last year that Johnson and Johnson had to, to take out a product from the market because it had a, a, a component that produced cancer. And then, Ooh. Yeah, imagine the little children using that product, then they had to take it out. And unfortunately, when we are new parents, we do not know many things, right? But uh, with the time you learn to see what things are safe for children and what things are not. And in this case, uh, they are talking in this in this uh, best practice number five about the norms that are used when testing a product, and we should take into account how they were tested in the past, but the, at the same time how they are tested now, right? So we have to take into consideration a lot of things there. Yes, in this case, uh, for the example say that uh, diapers mm -hmm. that try to the children Excellent. or a uh, cosmetic for the women mm -hmm. uh, try the products for compare that quality and safety that that the people exactly 
quality is really, really important, right? Very, very important. Okay, what about the second? <laughs> the best practice number six in home testing can provide more realistic condition. Mm -hmm. uh, the companies uh, give the, the people, how do you say muestras? Uh, sample. Sample for the products, for the people uh, try it in the home. Uh, for example, the uh, jabón en polvo. Soap, powder soap, powder. Yes. Powder, el yeah. polvo. Uh -huh. Powder. El jabón. Yes. Powder soap. soap. Oh, detergent. Right? Yes. Detergent. Mm -hmm. eh, esto, eh, because producto testing usually requires that this respondent touch mm -hmm. a taste, a product. Exactly. What about the number six? In home, in, home in home tasting, home taste tasting the product. Exactly, that's a product that is tested. Or, as the name says it. Or uh, how do you say various days? Uh, some days. Some days. Mm -hmm. Where is this uh, test? Provided. Where, where is this test done? In the store or at home? In the store. Are you sure? The product tester testing in the home. Uh huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Why? Because some days the people try the products. Uh, for some days. Exactly. And they also allow the respondents to test products over multiple days, right? And in multiple ways. So we can say a month testing the product for at least a week, right? After a week using the shampoo that you're using, you can know if that is good for your hair or not. After a week using a soap, a type of soap, you can know if that is good for your clothes or not, right? And especially if we're talking about frozen foods, the same, right? Or, or beverages, they need to be tested at home. Okay, thank you, Novia. Let's go for seven and eight. That was Anna, Anna Ali. Anna Ali, me escribí. Good evening. Anna Alicia. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Anna Alicia, David, and Carla, right? Okay, go ahead. That's best practice, seven and eight. Alicia, oh, ayúdame. Ajá. Vaya, vaya. Help, David. Okay. Okay, teacher. And uh, number seven, the other over, overall measures and specific diagnostics. Uh, it is the way to separate edge of the component of the product and write all the reaction. <clears throat> That is the produce sensory, gusta, gust, gustary, and face to face. And number eight is a compare, compare measure from the product 
test would measure from the concept test. Validate the product meets the ca characteristic proposal at the beginning. Be sure if the product reaches the expectations. The expectations. Expectations, mm -hmm. exactly. Next. That's it. Does the product reach the expectations? Because it's very easy to say, you know what? I'm going to do this and this and this product. Yeah. But what about at the moment of presenting the product? Does the product really does what the concept said? Yeah. That's uh, what we're checking here in this practice number eight. Okay, thank you, David. Let's go for the last one. Best practice nine and ten. Edwin, Jennifer, Jessica, and <laughs> JJ, JJ. But Edwin, Jennifer, Jessica, and Jose Alberto. Go ahead. JJ and J. Well, good evening, teacher. <laughs> good evening. Uh, the best practice number nine. Use a white label test to eliminate brand, match, and packaging efforts. Uh, this method, depending on the purpose of the test, is to see to the influence of brand can affect the results of a product test. Uh, can use uh, to reduce the impact of brand and get a clean measure of product attributes and diagnostics. And uh, when we use a brand, will affect purchase decisions in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. So including branding and a product test can provide better, better estimates of the potential purchase and usage. Depend the, the the brand is very conocido, como se llama? Well known. Uh -huh. Well known. Like, uh, for example, uh, the Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. You don't um, need to see the brand to, to drink it and taste it and say that it is Coca-Cola, right? Uh -huh. The first uh, thing we have in the mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The practice number 10 is use the design best suited the goals of the test. Is it is it, this method is uh, for how many products should one person evaluate? And can be with using two methods, uh, the monadic test or a sequential monadic test. Uh, el monadic te the monadic test, each represent, evaluates only one product. And the sequential monadic design allows purposes to directly com compare two or more products and provide a preferring rating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dependent to, to the goals of the search. Okay. Uh -huh. And what's the purpose that you have, right? And the white label test is similar to the blind test. Blind test. Because you test the product without the brand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the the one is similar to the blind test where you don't see the brand to test the when testing the product you don't know what product you're testing right but you want to see the product and the characteristics of the product without being influenced by anything yeah because if you see coca-cola versus pepsi-cola is salva cola each of you have your own opinion, right? What is the best product for you? What about if you if you test the three, if you taste the three products? 
you had three glass glasses, <laughs> glass glasses, and, and you try the three products without knowing which is which. Do you think you would be able to guess which is Coca-Cola, which is Pepsi, and which is Albacol? Would you be able to, to identify them? Or no? Maybe. If you try them without the brand, without the brand, that'll be yes. that'll be interested to do. Okay. That'll be interested to, to, to check. How good are you at recognizing them? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is the white test, right? Okay, any questions, any comments here? Oh, yes, teacher. That was about yesterday, right? Not yesterday. That was about Friday and what you were reading, what you were discussing with your friends on Friday. Well, let's continue. We are. Uh, we have a, a group of questions here. Remember, we have been talking about testing, so the whole unit goes around that. Check. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Yes or no. Would you like to be a product tester? Have you heard about the term focus group? We have two questions that may kind may sound a little familiar to you. And the last one that is totally new, right? Have you heard about the term focus group? What is a focus group? Any idea? It's a, a, a meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, the people who are in the meeting are invited for someone or for some uh, brand mm -hmm. or test the product and say, what do you think about it? Uh, what do you feel? What do you like? What don't you like? Or for example, uh, uh, would you like to, to do something uh, using this or it will be practice for you use this product to to something a special situation or 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 kind of that so it's a group that are that is used or the or it helps to describe and improve the product exactly exactly the focus group is a group of people that get together to analyze a product, right? Or to analyze or to test it. So now we know what the term focus group is. Well, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to work a little bit and discuss these questions. Then you come and share. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Mm, yes or no. You say yes, but tell me how. You say no, tell me why. Okay. Uh, would you like to be a product tester? Mm -hmm. Yes, but why? Give me reasons. Not only say yes, right? Uh, have you heard about the term focus group? Yes or no? And tell me what you think about it. Okay. Well, there we go. Page 21 in your manual, right? We're page 21. I want to send you, hmm. oh, we are 18 now. I'm going to make groups of, group of, some groups of three and some others group of four. Let's see. Mm -hmm. um, is Grace Mitchell here? Grace yes, teacher. Vamos a ver el de Cristina por la luz de mi novia Víctor. Víctor está de oyente, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Sí. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Mm -hmm. 
Bye. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Try to join a group, please. Try to join. Hello, Lorena again. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. No le parece la llamada, Jennifer. Okay. The Is first there a way question? to predict? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? What do you think? Yes, uh, the way, for example, is the that kind of a group or or testers will be accepted by the yes you uh, before you uh, leave the product to the to the market uh, i think yeah. you can you can predict if it will be accepted, making a doing. Is making a doing, a testing. Making it, right? What is it, excuse me? Como, o sea, para decir que, es, o sea, hacer los testeos es making a doing. Los, las, las pruebas. Because a focus group uh, is a kind of... Plot. Yeah, because a focus group is a way to test in. Test the product. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you can predict uh, the acceptance if you do a test mm -hmm. of the product or or a service just just uh, to predict it you can you cannot say okay, you you need you uh, cannot imagine okay, right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can say yes it will be accepted if you don't if you didn't do uh, a a testing a test uh -huh. a test uh -huh. So I think, yes, uh, the acceptance of a product can be predict, predicted, but if you do in a, if you do a test. But do you think the whole product in the supermarket uh, have that kind of evaluation? Yep. Every product in the supermarket. Yes. Yes. Have you have you seen when you buy any product in, in super sometimes they they have um muestras uh, yes a sample of or of of a product. Uh -huh. and paste in the package. El, como el anzuelo, pero no sabes en realidad si va a funcionar o no. Entonces, de, creo que de alguna manera 
de saber si va a ser aceptado. Okay. Es que para que no se nos olvide el español. Sí. Y chervemos que a usted le pasa seguido y no queremos que nos pase lo mismo. Esa <risa> broma. Yo ya llevo 26 años en esto. Bueno. Y nosotros 26 días apenas. Me agrega los tres años sí. de, de, de aprender ya. Más los otros dos de la U. ¿Cuántos son? Como 31. <risa> nos hace falta un montón a nosotros. <risa> ya hay razón. Y yes. nosotros, anantillos. Así es que no se les olvida todavía, ¿eh? Para eso tienen que pasar 18 años, por lo menos. Ah, pero no vaya a ser por las dudas. No, dale, pues. Entonces yo no he entendido para escribir bien la pregunta uno. Yes. The question number one, say, is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the customer? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is a way. What is the way? Mm. Alguna manera. Sí. But what? ¿Cuál es la manera? No es la traducción. <laughs> pues sí, que es que es el tema. Um, eh. For study, for study, for study de. De mercado, más. De market. Yeah, for for study de market by the necessity of the customer. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because the social network and uh, Radio TV is the influencer to buy, not the accepted the product. Exactly. So people, you have to study the market, right? There are people who sell whatever, that because they watch what people want to buy. Remember to find or to look for the necessity. What is the necessity that people have? And depending on the necessity, that's the product you take. If no, if there is no necessity, what do you do? If there is no necessity? Uh, then no buy. You create it then. Oh, yes, right. yes, yes. I can. Uh -huh. We are create, create the element. Yes. Exactly. So if there is no necessity, you create it. Right? Because but the, you know, but the create the necessity is when the. the ¿Cómo se dice? Porque está el alcance. Because it is easy to reach it. Okay. Because it is easy to reach out. Mm -hmm. Because your product uh, generates the, the necessity, but the cost is, is tall or expensive. The consumer no, no buy. Uh -huh. Exactly. No, of course. And that's why you have to you have to know the market, right? I remember, well, I used to sell things like long time ago. And I remember I was offered a new product. It was like a type of medicine or something like that. And it remembers before you sell a product, you have to really believe in that product. You have to like it and you have to know the product well. If you trust the product for you, for you, for you to use it, you can offer it to people. But if you say, mm, I really don't like it, you cannot offer it to people. And that's what happened to me. I saw the product, the people were trying to convince me to sell it. Hello? I don't like it. 
I don't like the product, I don't trust the product, and it is too expensive. And the market where I move will not buy a product that is too expensive. And that's something very important that you should know when you're selling a product, right? If you know your market, you can say, yes, I will sell it. But if you know the market that you have is totally different, mm -mm, you won't sell it. And as David says, if it is too expensive, the same, right? Okay, go for the second question, but in English. <laughs> okay. Grace, Michelle. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Está Grace por allí. Señorita. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. I go for the next question. Quiere que lea la segunda pregunta o que la conteste? Uh, both things. Both read the question and answer, right? Would you like to be a product tester? Mm -hmm. I think uh, a customer. No, you, you. Me. It's directly to you, you. Would you like to be a product tester? Imagine if they tell you, Grace Michelle, I have some cosmetics that I would like you to try. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver si entendí bien la pregunta. Me dice que si a mí qué me gustaría comprar. No. No. Read the question. Would you like to be a product tester? Ah, ¿qué me gustaría probar? To the air fryer. But would you like to be a product tester? I would like to the air fryer. What product would you like to test? Una freidora de aire, air fryer. Kitchen to the air fryer. Would you like to test it? Mm -hmm. Why? Or so, how would you test it? <clears throat> For the, the fitness food, um, Oh, is it cooking to the fitness food? Uh -huh, exactly. Healthier, right? Healthier food. Yes. Okay. Uh, in the case, the, the rose, uh, she says the, the she don't like the texture the Fragrancy. Ooh. Teacher, I was once a perfume tester, but I didn't like it. Why? Uh, how do you say olor of the perfume? Smell. The smell. The smell of the perfume. The smell of the perfume was too strong. Uh, yes. Um, perfume the, of... How do you say by me? And, oh. Vanilla. Vanilla. Uh -oh. Don't uh, like. Vanilla melt. It's delicious. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, when you when you're talking about food, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I accept it a, a little bit. But in perfume, as Rosie says, is teacher for 
empalagoso, como se dice. Sí. Yes. Es rich. 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 When something is extremely sweet, that is impossible, right? That you cannot stand it because it's too, 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 it's too, uh, too sweet. Mm -hmm. Rosu? For exhibition, exhibition, uh, how do you say, Asia? I used to do. I used to do torres. Towers <laughs> yes. of perfumes. Torres, this is a, this is a, this is a splash. Uh-uh. Uh-huh, towers with the, with the perfumes, so with the splash. The perfume. Wow. Uh-huh. So you were testing and selling the product at the same time. Yes. Wow. Wow. Terminaba el día. Very smelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You smell like a cookie. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Ah, pues lo dejo, me voy. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. <laughs> that brings that brings together six or ten people in a room to provide feedback regarding a product, service, concept, or marketing. Hi, hi. Hello. Anybody here? Nobody here? Hi, teacher. Hello, coming. Pachon. Hello. Hello. I'm a severe. So you tell me. Uh oh. Okay. Bueno. Salud. Eh, <ríe> cuando yo estornudo, es seña de que ya va a llover. Ay, no, qué madre. Así, así, así me, me anuncia mi nariz antes de que empiece a llover. Ya viene la lluvia. Perceptibilidad al clima. Ah, exactly. So you say, will it rain? Yes, the teacher already sneezed. Yeah. You can smell it. I can smell it before it gets here. It's the humidity. The humidity makes me sneeze. Vaya, vamos a ver. Let's see. Okay. Is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Yes or no? Who can tell me? Is there a way? In my uh, in my group, we were discussing about this. And uh, there are different opinions. Uh, some uh, classmates uh, said that that could be that that could be uh, correct and could be. Podría haber? How do you say? There could be. There could be a way to predict if your product will be accepted. Uh -huh. How? Uh, how? Okay. Uh, this is when you are to thinking in a, to launch a food product to the market. Uh, you you give sample to the people in in on the store on the supermarket, and you will sell. You will you will watch if the product is accepted. That could be a way to predict. You. Yes, that's true. Because remember, I was telling you last time that, for example, when you don't like a product, you do not take it. 
you don't take yes. Or if that you're not in the market that uses that product, you won't take it. Imagine if um if in the supermarket somebody is giving samples of pañales desechables, I wouldn't accept one. What for if I have no babies? Right? So that way you can know the market. So you know if people take it or not. Another way is as you're giving the samples, if people are accepting the sample or not. If people tell you no thanks, no thanks, no thanks, ah, you have to look for another strategy to see what's going on with your product, right? Aha, uh -huh. what other way can we use to know if the product will be accepted by the consumer or not? That's one. Can you think of another one, David? Dave, Dave? The signature? Yes, uh, excuse me, it's in accordion the, the work. Aha, uh -huh. tell me another way. Oh. Uh, the recapitulate, please, teacher. And what question? We're still in number one. Victor was saying about giving samples. That's one way. Can you share with us another way of knowing if the product will be accepted or not? Uh, Maybe a um, uh, market studio teacher. Yes, 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 yes. But for example, uh, some people are in in the supermarket only watching what the people want and, and what the people decide to buy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that could be another way. Exactly. What do people usually buy? Right? What do people usually buy? Mm -hmm. And also, if, for example, could be in, in what hour the people uh, buy something, for example, in, in, at, in, al mediodía. I know. Maybe uh, people buy some uh, fresh beverage or, or in, in, in the evening, they buy something maybe hard, hot beverage, for example. Mm-hmm. Or what they usually eat, right? In the afternoon. Okay. Let's see. I just, I just mm -hmm. started, I, I just thought it about uh, another way to know about if the product will be accepted. And this is um, a, 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 this is throw a sor a sorbet, sorbet is correct? Sorbet, sorbet, sorbet. You can make a sorbet. That's another way of, of studying the market, right? Launching a sorbet. So you ask people, before you waste trying to give them sample, right? You, you can ask them and they will definitely tell you if they like something or not, okay? What about next question? Would you like to be a product tester? I was saying that I would like to be a tester, but not in skincare products okay. or medicine products. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine the people who were testing the, vac the vacuum, the shot for the COVID. Some people got really sick, some others. But, teacher, but, but they have paid about it. They were paid? Yes. I don't know. Or, or for example, another product. I uh, say you, you receive money for do that i don't know probably in, in some case in right. some case teacher yes i think so 
but in some other cases, maybe not. But they should, right? Jose, when you were working in fruit of, of the loom, do you receive paid for that? No. No, no. In, 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 their mo in, in, in that occasion, no. Mm -hmm. But because we are the uh, employees. You were employees. The same, uh -huh, in the same uh, company okay. and just uh, test the product, but uh, is part of, of our work. Uh -huh, exactly. Exactly but, in that case. But I, I comment with my partners in, in, in this moment in the, in the discuss of the questions. And I say I I was in a like a focus group uh -huh. uh, a few weeks ago, like uh, three weeks ago. And it's not for for uh, a product. A service, but it, uh, it's a politician mm -hmm. things. Uh, it's a company for research uh, by is controlled by the some uh, politician and or, or politics, and we, they need. No, but it's our opinion about the re-election. Uh -huh. And uh, they give us a gift card, mm -hmm. uh, the $25. And we have a, the lunch and the other group uh, have a breakfast uh, in the afternoon. And so, who will pago? Uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. For, is that they will take you for some time, right? So you have to go on discussion. You have to analyze a lot of things. So yeah, company should pay for it. When you ask your employees, like mm -hmm, it's part of your job. Tell me, Anne. Hey, Jose. But for how long you been there in that focus group? Because you were telling us that you received lunch and, and... only lunch on the gift card. Ah, okay, only lunch. Mm -hmm. Yes, we we are uh, we was two group. One group uh, stay in the in the place for uh, two hours, more mm -hmm. and the other group uh, uh, like a uh, two hours too. Uh -huh. yeah. it, it depends on the time that you are there, right? If you are for breakfast time, you receive breakfast. If mm. you're for lunch time, you receive lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Jose Alberto already answered question number three. Hey, have you heard have you heard about the term focus group? And he said yes, and he has been part of one. How did you feel about being part of a focus group, Jose, Jose Alberto? It, it's a, a good experience. Like a, we can, in, in this case, we can say everything we have uh, in, in our mind and, and we can exp express uh -huh. or, or say whatever. Then, and is our opinion mm -hmm. uh, for collaborate, but by the research, by the research. Pros and cons. Mm -hmm. And I imagine that they get samples of different areas, right? How many people were in, were there in your focus group, Jose Alberto? In, in my group, uh, 15 people. 15. Okay. And the other group, uh, like uh, 20 people. Wow, there were big groups, right? Big groups. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember that that discussion, the biggest the group, the most complicated it begins, right? Because more ideas are coming and going. Okay, somebody else has been part of a focus group? Nobody else? 
No, teacher. I am never being in a focus group, I think. In Tupperware, maybe they are selling, not <laughs> testing their product. <laughs> uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, the testing is most uh, when you're going to launch something, right? In that moment, before, remember what we were saying last week. We test things without launching them to the market right so because we want to see what is the people's opinion before we take the product out so that's the purpose of the focus group and instead of just asking people at random people who go passing you have some people in a place meeting together, discussing and analyzing the product or the service in this case, and uh, giving, of course, giving their own opinions and they're free, right? They're free to express what they think because that's the purpose, to study the situation and to see what will happen later. Okay, now let's go to the conversation. Here we have the conversation there, page 21 in your book. Teacher, excuse me, the attendance. I, and I, I was thinking about that before. Thank you, Anna. I was thinking about that before the discussion. And then, oh, okay. Thank you, thank you, Adriana, Sofia. Adriana. Present. Anna Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Uh, David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Uh, Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jennifer. Yvonne Marcela. Yvonne, no here. Jessica Lisette. Present teacher. Jessica. Jessica Lisa. Present. La oh, pues sí, la Que se me había hecho. Aquí. Eh, José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Karen. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lizeta Enara. Lizeta Enara. No, no. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Karen, no hay Karen. Tum, 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 tum. Adriana Marcela. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. Muy bien. Well, well, let's continue. Okay. 
let's go back. Hi. Uh, let's repeat the conversation. Repeat after me. Have you ever made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Repeat. Have you, have, you have you made any, any progress with the sample selection for the focus, focus groups? Sure, Moises. Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? Will we work with targeted or random samples? Or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. In addition, we need to, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. <laughs> You're right. Because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for random sample. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, furthermore, sorry to create a well-designed questionnaire. To get the specific information we require. To get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, one more time. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moses. Sure, Moses. We will have two groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. We will have two groups of at least four participants to collect We will work with targeted random samples. We will In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. In addition, you're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. You're right. I, because you're we right, want because to find right. the perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire. Get the specific information we require. Get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. I will meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we will work on it. Nice. Nice, nice. Questions? Questions, questions? What do you mean for furthermore? Furthermore. Uh, when you say in addition, you are adding something. But when you say furthermore, todavía agregando algo más de lo que ya había agregado. Right, these are a uh, connectors for addition. Mm -hmm. We we use them when we want to add, uh, we have one idea, we add another one, we use addition, but we want to add another one, then you use furthermore. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go practice the conversation and answer the questions, okay? Ready, ready for that? 
Okay, teacher. Perfect. We go. Ay, vamos a ver. Teacher. Uh, está lloviendo fuerte acá y pues escucho bien. Por si nos envía los grupos. Ok. Aquí. Vamos a ver. Yo lo voy a estar guachando. ¿Quién se queda? Adriana. Adriana Marcela sigue de oyente. No, teacher, ya no. Vaya. Eh, Víctor sigue de oyente. Ya no, ya puedo participar. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Ahí está. Yo digo que los he puesto bien. Let's go. Yo que todavía continúo. José Alfredo. Ah, vaya. Sí. A tiempo, me dijo. Vamos a intercambiar aquí. Va. Ok, so go practice the conversation, check pronunciation. And then uh, answer the questions. Okay, there we go. Try to join. Ana. You won't check if you can join the room. Twenty four participants collect a cure result. Will we work with targeted of random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location for each. You're right, because we perdón, me empede. You're right, because we want to find our the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work in on it. Okay, I mean, Yes. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of the last 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or, or rendered samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location and of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall percep perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay. 
answer the questions? Yes. yes. How many focus group will participate in the test? Um, uh, they say three. How to do uh, 24 participants to collect a great result. Will we work with targeted or random sample? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. Okay. You are right, because we will we will how many focus group will participate in the test? How many groups will participate? How many focus groups? Ah, three groups, okay. Okay. How many focus groups will participate in the test? Three groups. Three groups of, of 24 participants. Yes. What type of sample has Fernanda selected for their testing process? What type of sample? Ah, random sample. Persuasions. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will go for a random sample. So, Fernanda selected a random sample. Who will design the questionnaire? <clears throat> Lucas, to the but there's, it's necessary to create a well designed question. A specific information. I see. We require. Okay. Lucas will design. Will design. Questionnaire. Okay. Okay. I think it's correct. Hi, teacher. Hi. Finish, finished. We finish. Excellent. Create the questionnaire. Lucas is going to create the questionnaire uh, with Moises. In the afternoon, they're going to uh, work on it. Okay, yes. Lucas, no sé si está bien escrito. Lucas is going to create the questionnaire with Moises in the afternoon. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Okay, if you want, um, we can practice again the yes. conversation. Okay, yeah, I answer. Okay, I'm Moises and you, Fernando. Okay.
how you make any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect uh, correct results. We we work with target or random samples. In addition, in addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group of the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we re require. I meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Okay, let um we can switch. Yes. Um, and Moises. Okay, have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of the least twenty-four participants to collect accurate results. Uh, will we work Okay, right. Let's wait for everybody to come back. Yeah. Okay, sharing. Tell me, how many focus group will participate in the test? Three groups. Three groups. Three groups, exactly. What type of sample? What type of sample has Fernanda selected for their testing process? Random samples. The random sample. Mm -hmm. Who will design the questionnaire? Lucas, Moises and Lucas? Mm -hmm. Yes, they will design it. What type of questionnaire are they going to do? Remember when you make a questionnaire, you can make open questions and directed questions, right? What type of questionnaire will you do or will they do? Mm -hmm. What do you think? For the book. Hmm? Better the open question. Open questions if you want to get more information, right? Mm -hmm. If you're making just a survey, like two very directed and specific things that you want, you do ABC questions, so agree or disagree, right? But if you want to get more information and you really want to improve, then you use open questions. Okay, very good. The analysis, of course, will be more difficult, right? But the results will be more accurate. Okay, nice. Well, we have an article there in the manual, uh, in the links that, that you can read, right? That it is a video and I cannot put video, so sorry. 
that I cannot share. Remember, I cannot share extra information from other things. I wish I could uh, share with you videos or games. I like to do lots of games in my classes, but here I cannot do because uh, then uh, YouTube will, right? They say, no, 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 this is a, because of the rights. So you cannot share it and we will punish you. And that's a big problem, right? That's a big problem if the video is punished. Okay, so, ah, hablando de eso. Eh, I, I, I like that you investigate, you can investigate in internet and everything. But if you are in a page that is eh, from internet, do not share the screen. Okay? No sé si se dieron cuenta por allí un grupo que yo, llegué, yo entré y me salí, pero que ni podía salirme. Pero iba así como que, uy, no, 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 no. Porque si usted está compartiendo una página de YouTube, ya no podemos compartir información de terceros, así tal cual la encontramos, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, yo entré al grupo, estaban compartiendo algo de Google y me tocó que salirme que ni hallaba por dónde. Y como cuando usted choca con las puertas y choca con las sillas y quiere salir corriendo y no puede. Pues así me pasó. Porque si yo me quedo eh, un par de minutos y usted está compartiendo una página de Chrome, de Google, lo que va a pasar es que por los derechos de autor mi video va a ser sancionado. Entonces, eh, solo les pido que cuando quieran... Pueden compartir así, pero no compartan pantalla. Eh, no compartan pantalla cuando, eh, o sea, así pantalla de, de Google, ¿verdad? Para que no me castigue el video y no se me quede en el momento de, de, de subir el video a YouTube. Se queda hasta 20 minutos repasando que si violé los derechos de autor. Oye, y por esa situación les explicaba, es que yo no les pongo a ustedes videos de YouTube, no les pongo juegos que están allá en Internet, porque aunque sea un juego que yo haya creado, pero si estoy usando una plataforma X, YouTube me va a sancionar. ¿Verdad? Entonces no puedo, no puedo, no puedo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oye, para que les digo esto porque eso pasa con cualquier teacher que tenga. Si usted está compartiendo o algo de, de música, por ejemplo, o un video, por ejemplo, yo cuando he entrado que, que están viendo un video, yo me salgo pero que así igual, que no hay ni la puerta, ¿verdad? Para que eh, no me sancione el video YouTube, y si no, nos va a tocar que hacer una clase extra. Oh, ya terminó el curso. Sí, no, pero como se nos fue un video, ah, vamos a repetir una de las clases hoy. Entonces, hay que tener mucho cuidado en ese, en ese aspecto, porque YouTube es bien celoso con los derechos de autor. Y si alguno se viola nos elimina el video. Oye, así es que, please, plisito, plisito, yo allí eh, les explico porque entré y tuve que salir corriendo para no estar compartiendo otras cosas. But, teacher, ¿Mm? but I have a question. Tell if, me. I, if I am studying in my, at my house and, ah, no. I open the, and I open the manual and there is Oh, there are uh, some links? No, no, at I home. open it? No problem. But 
not while you are in class, for example, by a, an example would be that you are in your small group, you open the video and you share the video with your group and I enter. That would be a problem. I understood, I understood. Uh -huh. So if I enter, that would be a problem because you two will, will not say, ah, no fue la teacher la que lo compartió, no cuenta, sino que va a decir, ups, derechos de autor violados. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando usted sube el video a YouTube, YouTube se queda eh, revisando si uno no ha violado los derechos de, de, de autor. ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es que es, eso es bien importante. Y si se fijan, yo cuando necesito información, porque esto no me lo sé de memoria, ¿verdad? Entonces voy, busco la información y la digito en la PPT. No puedo ir a copiar, pegar, porque entonces si yo voy y copio, y por ejemplo, vaya, por eso no les pongo fotos tampoco, porque hay fotos que si son, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Que son libres, ¿verdad? Que son gratis pero hay otras que no, y últimamente se ha vuelto más complicado porque la gente está cobrando hasta tres dólares por una foto, hasta me dan ganas de tomar fotos y venderla yo, fíjense, porque eh, va uno a buscar una foto o una imagen gratis, dice gratis, pero ya cuando usted la trata de descargar le, le dicen que vale tanto, entonces, a eso es a lo que me refiero yo con los derechos de autor. Igual con los videos, ¿verdad? Yo no puedo venir y proyectarles a ustedes un video. Y, por ejemplo, con los audios de las conversations, yo podría perfectamente grabarme con mi hija y ponérselos, pero sería correr un riesgo de que si YouTube va a tomar en cuenta que es mi voz, que es mi creación, que es mi video, o que sí lo he tomado como de alguien más. ¿Verdad? Entonces, esos son los riesgos de, 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 los, de los derechos de autor y por eso les explicaba eh, la razón, ¿verdad? Porque sé que hay por ahí una duda de por qué la teacher no les comparte otras cosas. O sea, yo con mi gusto, mis clases son con videos y juegos, pero aquí no puedo. Y no puedo precisamente por los derechos de autor que me pide, eh, que me sanciona YouTube si yo les pongo un video, si yo les pongo una canción, o si yo les pongo un juego en cualquier otra plataforma, ¿verdad? Hay un montón de links. Y por eso es que lo que yo hago es compartirles así de vez en cuando links al grupo de WhatsApp donde usted perfectamente puede entrar y, y, y no estamos ya mostrando a YouTube para que no nos sancione, ¿verdad? Así es que allí mi, 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 mi explicación del, del motivo, porque esto ya se los había dicho, pero eh, sé que había por ahí una duda de por qué la teacher no nos compartía otras, otros materiales, y es precisamente por eso, ¿verdad? Porque si no... Eh, los derechos de autor se me vuelven un problema. Uh -huh. Pero sí, allí problemando los links a ustedes, porque ya si usted en su tiempo libre, sí perfectamente lo puede ver y no. Y no hay problema, ¿verdad? Y es como una extra práctica. Y en este caso del Product Development, eh, lo que les da el link que está allí en el libro, en el manual, es un video. Entonces, por eso yo me fui a buscar información extra, aparte, para compartírsela, porque no les puedo precisamente poner el video, pero usted sí lo puede ver después, ¿verdad? Vaya. Ok, tell me, what is product development? What is it? What is product development? Who wants to tell me? Volunteer. Ajá, Nubia, can you read? <laughs> y Nubia, sí, porque yo, teacher. Vaya, go ahead. Product development. Product development typically refers to all stage 
product it is bringing a product from concept or idea through market release and beyond. And beyond. What does it mean? Who wants to tell me what, what it means? What is the concept? Remember before we were talking, well, from yesterday's discussion, dale con yesterday, Friday's discussion, we were talking about the product concept. What is the concept? Mm -hmm. What is the concept? The main purpose of the product? The main purpose. Check this. Concept or or idea. Or idea. Yes. When you say I'm going to make um a bottle of water that includes music. That sounds when you drink it. I'm going to make a nap that reminds people to drink water. So you exist. Okay. So you have the idea, right? You have the concept or idea. So when we talk about product development, we refer to that. Since that moment when you started with the idea of what you wanted to do through the market and beyond. When we say beyond, it's all the way, all the way during which you are creating and developing the product. Remember, first thing we did in unit number one was develop a brainstorming, right? We got different ideas, then we go for the screening, and then we went for a Prototyping, oh, well, designing the product, right? And then prototyping and testing, and we have all the all the ways to run. Okay, let's see the next one. There are some standard stages in this product, a uh, product development. What is the first one? Identifying. Identifying, mm -hmm. Identifying a, a, a market need. Eh, vamos a ver. Elmer Fabricio, can you help me read this? Elmer Fabricio, hello. Nos perdió. No Hola. Ajá, muchacho. Can you help me read? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, 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 we can hear you. No escucho, Peter. Okay, José Alberto, can you help me? Okay, teacher. Identifying a market need. Product solve problem. So, identifying a problem that needs solving is where this journey should be. Mm -hmm. Attention, potential customers, service, and other user research activities can inform this step. Mm -hmm. So, first, identify the needs there is a need to be solved i imagine when i don't remember well i don't know in what year the washing machine was created but imagine if somebody came to the idea of creating a machine for women not to be washing and washing their clothes every single day right Great idea. That was the fan a fantastic idea. So they saw 
that there was a problem that needed to be solved. Yeah? Problems that need solving. There is a problem. Hmm. What can we do? How can we solve that problem? That is where we start with the product development, right? All the process. But I just imagine before starting with the with the process, I imagine the inventor running conversations with women in the street, asking them about how they did to wash all the clothes that they had to, that they received every single day, making surveys about that, if people will buy that machine or not. Temblorana, no, aquí no. Aquí sí. Really? Yes, it's here, aquí también. también. Aquí. <laughs> Yo saben que me he vuelto una persona tan insensible. <laughs> no para mal. Respecto a temblores. Yo no lo siento. Sí, no temblor, lo teacher. Y bien ah. fuerte. Really? Sí, sí, yo sentí la conciencia. <laughs> la <Sí>, tembla. Tem <laughs> No, one of these day, well, one day, I don't know, it was about two weeks, there was a shake, but it was about 4.9, something like that, and it was uh, very strong in all, almost in all the country. It was in the middle of the night. I didn't feel it. Everybody woke up at home and I didn't notice. I didn't uh -huh. notice until the next Thank day. Thank God, teacher. Huh? Thank God you didn't notice. <laughs> no, I never feel, well, I feel them sometimes, but later I don't feel it. <laughs> so it's but bad. not today. You didn't feel it today. No, at all. No. I didn't feel it at all. Who felt the, the shake? Did Me. you feel it? <laughs> yeah. Me. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I will ask my family if they felt it because I didn't. Okay. So we were saying that we once uh, once you identify the problem first you go for conversations with potential customers so who are the people who you think may buy your product talk to them right so you can also make service and any other types of research that can be necessary right like interviews but those things that can help you and that can inform about this step of identifying the need. Then we go for this for the next step. What is it? Quantifying what? Who wants to read? Quantifying. Uh -huh. Adriana, I, do you want that we read? Yes, please. Okay, quantifying the opportunity. Not every problem is problematic enough to warrant a product-based solution. solution. However, the pain it causes and the number of people organization it impacts can determine it whether it is worthly problem to solve and if people are willing to pay for a solution. Mm -hmm. So you have a problem, right? Good. Is it a good problem to look for a solution or it's not a big thing? So if you consider that the problem is worthy that means si vale la pena buscarle una solución, ¿ya? 
It is a worthy problem to solve. If people say, yes, let's solve this problem, right? You can go look for a solution, but only if people are really going to pay for it, right? Because if people are not willing to pay for the solution of this problem, don't waste your energy, right? That's quantifying the opportunity. Any other like, comments about that? Mm -hmm. Like qualify, no, but not about quality. I'm telling a quantifying the opportunity. Quantifying. ¿Qué tanto vale la pena? Ah, okay. okay. ¿Cuánta gente está dispuesta a pagar? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuánta gente está dispuesta a pagar? Thank you, teacher. Pero si la gente, y por eso es que es quantifying y no qualifying, ¿verdad? Que, porque si se fijan, dice, the number of people or organizations it impacts. ¿A cuánta gente va a impactar o impacta? ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿vale la pena que yo me mueva a buscarle una solución? Pero eso va a depender de a cuánta gente afecta. Right? Si no afecta a mucha gente y, y la gente mucho menos va a querer pagar por este producto, pues no. No vale la pena mi esfuerzo. Right? That's what they are telling you here. Uh -huh. That's warrant. Do you know the word warrant? Sí. Do you know the word warrant? Like garantía. Mm -hmm. Garantiza, right? That's the verb. Garantiza a solution. Not every problem is problematic enough to warrant a product-based solution. There can be a problem that not necessarily urges a solution. Mm -hmm. If it is going to, if it is impacting only a few people and organizations are impacted with this problem, right? And if people that are impacted are not too many and they are not interested in solving that problem. So better look for another idea, right? Look for another problem to solve. Now let's see the other one. Conceptualizing the product. What does it mean? Who wants to read? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who wants to be teacher? Okay, Jennifer. Conceptualizing the product. Some solution may be obvious, while others may be less intuitive. Intuitive. Here, intuitive. Here's where the team puts in the effort and applies their creativity. To devising how a product might serve its needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have a, imagine you have a problem where the solution is very obvious, right? The, the team can make an effort and be creative on making a product here that serves this needs. We have the needs, solutions are obvious, pero nadie hace nada, right? Then I can take the time to give a solution to that problem, but of course in a very creative way, right? That's what it is telling me. Uh -huh. And we go for the Last one. Yeah. Yes, we go for the last one. 
y no los mandé a los grupos aquí porque era muy poquito tiempo. A ver, validating the solution. Who wants to read? Uh -huh. Me Ok, el da Go, go, go. Validating the solution. Before too much time is spent prototyping and designing whether the proposed solution is viable should be tested. Yes. So remember, we have been talking about the importance of testing a product, right? So imagine I take too long to make a product. So I, I have to design it and make a prototype, right? But I don't test the product until the end, until it is launched oh, to the market. That may be a problem, right? But if the sooner I test the product, the sooner I can be sure that the product I'm going to take to the market is the best or it's in good condition. Right, and I'm not going to waste money for nothing. Okay, and it, this is a good moment for testing your product when you have it in prototype. So you can check, uh, you can test it, and you can make changes here, and it will be cheaper than if you make changes later on when all the products we know all the chain has been done, right? Okay, a ver, who wants to share which of these stages do you consider the most important? Mm -hmm. Which of these stages do you consider the most important? Identifying a market need. Okay. Identifying a market need and create a solution to the need, right? Okay. Very good. That is product development. Any questions before we go to the last attendance of the day? No questions. No questions. No, teacher, thank you. Ok. Hoy estuvo menos complicado, ¿verdad? <ríe> sí, yo sé. Que hay, hay días que nos hacemos sufrir. Pero hoy no, estaba más fácil. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Tell me present. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. No está, ¿verdad? No. Ok. David. Present teacher. Eh, Diego Batres. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Luis Michel. Present teacher. Ivon Marcela. Ay, bon, yo la vi por allí. Pero no, la fue no en my dreams. Entonces la vi. Eh, Jennifer. Alice. Present teacher. Jessica Alicette. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Karen no está. Eh, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lise Dayanara. Lise. No, ¿verdad? No se trae nada. No. 
Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rosalda. Present teacher. Eh, Victor. Victor, Victor. Present teacher, present. Eh, Karen Stephanie. Karen, bueno. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Y José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok. Bueno, hoy se queda. Ay, Ivonne, no está Ivonne. Solo recordarle, chicos, no olvidar trabajar la plataforma, por favor. A esta altura ya tendrían que estar haciendo eh, como la tarea número tres de las de la de la de la unidad dos, ¿verdad? ¿Se ve? Sí, sí. Yo entiendo que hasta la 2.5. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ya vamos a ver cómo van con los números. Ay, qué en la evaluación no terminamos hoy la unidad 2. No, no terminamos hoy la unidad 2 porque acuérdense que la unidad 2 siempre le da más tiempo. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad? Este no dura más tiempo, pero, pero... No se me atengan, oye, porque, vamos a ver, tenemos la 2.2, porque aquí nos van dando 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, ¿verdad? La primera tarea es 2.2, la segunda tarea, vamos a ver, después de la videoconferencia 9, that was last Friday, tenemos la tarea 2.5, por lo menos hasta allí, ¿verdad?, o sea, que tendrían de la unidad 2, tienen que tener hechas ya dos tareas. Y hoy se quedan libres y ya hicieron las otras dos. Si no, voy me completan allí para que mañana, después de la clase de mañana, la videoconferencia 11, hagan la tarea 2.8. ¿Sí? Picha, yo preocupada que ahora había que hacer el middle term. No, no, no. Es que como, como recuerden que en este curso tenemos, eh, son 25 días, ¿verdad? Y como solamente son cuatro unidades, a la unidad 12 es a la que usualmente le ponen más tiempo. Eso significa que podemos ir adelantando cada dos días una tarea y pueden ir aprovechando ustedes el día que no tienen tarea de hacer, ir adelantando un pedacito del midterm, ¿verdad? Que son, creo que cinco partes, ¿verdad? El midterm. Entonces, así pueden ir, aprovechando el día que no hay tarea, hacer un pedacito del midterm, de lo que ya se deja hacer. Así para que no, para que cuando lleguemos al otro lunes, que sería... Eh, prácticamente cuando tengamos que estar completando ya le digo qué clase es hoy es clase número 10 sí número 10 running a focus group para la clase número 14 o sea el viernes verdad quiero ver lunes 10, martes 11 lunes 12, jueves 13 viernes 14 sí para el viernes, ustedes ya estarían terminando toda la tarea de la unidad 2. Y para el lunes, el examen de medio curso. Para el lunes de la otra semana. ¿Verdad? Ya Nubia ya terminó todo. <ríe> ya la vi. Uh -huh. Entonces, así pueden ir para que no se me atrasen. Y ya cuando yo recoja las notas el lunes en la noche, ya ustedes están felices que ya hicieron todo. Entonces, recuerden, cada dos clases tarea, cada dos clases tarea, ¿verdad? Así es como vamos en esta unidad. Ya cuando va, llegamos a la unidad 3 y volvemos a lo mismo de clase tarea, clase tarea, clase tarea. ¿Ok? 
Y si usted todavía me debe la unidad uno, hágalo. Yo creo que nadie me debe un mes. Teacher. Hola, Fabricio, usted habla. Sí, yo soy, creo que le debo toda la, la unidad uno. Entonces, la semana pasada me perdí, bueno, casi todas las clases. por uh -huh. problemas con el teléfono y también número pero no me enviaban los links al correo electrónico, entonces por eso no podía entrar. Ah, ok. Vaya, mm. pero ahí están los videos. Usted puede entrar a ver los videos para que vaya a ir eh, ahí Para está. completar las tareas. Ajá. Exacto. De acuerdo. Gracias, Ticho. Para que así aproveche entonces esta semana que hay días que no hay tarea, para que vaya sí. adelantando eso. Así para cuando lleguemos al lunes, que yo voy a recoger eh, la unidad, las notas de la tarea de la unidad 2 y que voy a recoger también el examen de medio curso, usted ya está el día. Hoy. Vaya pues. See you tomorrow then. Have a nice night. Goodbye. Nadie se quiere ir, teacher. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye. Uh -huh. Sí, la tarea de mañana ya es de lo que vamos a ver mañana, de los transitions. Uh -huh. So that's something totally new. Uh -huh. All our transitions tomorrow. Transitions of addition and contrast. Addition and contrast, those are the ones. Hi, Jose Alfredo, hello.